you can, but I could sue that guy for wearing brown pants. You know, in, in this country, you could sue for anything. After becoming one of those successful adult film stars of all time, well, Ron Jeremy, he would find himself facing allegations of assault from at least 20 women. Now, he might not even be properly tried for those crimes as he's suffering from a case of severe dementia and, uh, well, he's been declared unfit for trial. But long before we discover that Ron might be every bit as dirty as he looks, well, he was born Ronald Jeremy Hyatt on March 12th, 1952 in Queens, New York to a middle-class Jewish family hailing out of Russia and Poland. Now, his father was a physicist and professor at Queens College, while his mother, well, she was a book editor who had served in the U.S. intelligence agency during World War II thanks to her ability to speak fluent French and German. Now, as a teenager, well, Ron, he attended Benjamin N. Cardoza High School and following which he moved on to the same college where his father worked to major in theater and education, going so far as to earn himself a master's degree in special education. But all the while, well, Ron, he was secretly harboring aspirations to make it in Hollywood. Following the completion of his degree, well, Ron, he got a job working at Cat Skills as a waiter at the now abandoned Paramount Hotel. Now, around that same time, well, he was also looking to book as many local acting gigs as he could for the stage, but he was having trouble finding consistent work since, uh, well, he wasn't part of the Screen Actors Guild. Now, because he was making such little money, well, Ron eventually got desperate, and uh, with the help of his then-girlfriend, Alice, well, he cooked up a plan to earn himself a few extra bucks. One night, those two, they stuck into the deluxe swing at the Paramount Hotel and took a few very candid photos of Ron in the buff. Now, their plan, well, was to send those images to Playgirl in the hopes that it might lead to, uh, well, more on-screen work. He explained to Time Magazine back in 2008, I thought maybe they would agree to bring me to LA LA for a layout, and while I'm in LA, I'll try to get some work in Hollywood. Now, the publication eventually phoned Ron up and told him they had good news and bad news. Now, the bad news was that they weren't going to use him anywhere, like Playgirl, but the good news is that they wanted to buy the images. Now, from that point forward, well, Ron, he found himself in a career that he could really sink his teeth into. Just because Ron suddenly had himself a new job, well, it didn't mean everything was perfect. Now, to begin with, well, once his name started to circulate in publications, well, people began looking it up. Now, back in those early days of his career, he was going by his real name of R. Hyatt, a name he shared with his grandmother, Rose Hyatt. So when Ross, newly won over fans, began showing up on her doorstep, well, his family freaked out. He explained to Time, my poor grandmother was being woken up night and day, mostly by guys. My poor grandma had to move. Then my dad sat me down and said, I don't know what cockamamie business you are getting into. You want to do something? Fine, you're an adult, but don't you ever use the family name again so he didn't now instead he switched his handle up to ron jeremy and shortly thereafter well he was contacted by an adult filmmaker who wanted to use him in his next film now at first ron well he wasn't convinced he'd considered uh you know adult movies to be sleazy so he actually turned the guy down but after a few more months of struggling to find work in the theater well he eventually came around on the idea and that's how ron ended up in one of his very first adult films tigress and other man eaters Tigress is another man eaters. <laughs> mm. Tigress is another man eaters. Uh, the first, that was my first movie. Now Ron says he spent about an hour in the makeup chair each day for that shoot in the hopes of hiding his face. He also found himself a little embarrassed in his bouts with stage fright compared to, uh, well, the other more experienced men on set, something he says he actually dealt with throughout the extent of his career. And uh, what a career it became, because sleeping with complete strangers, well, it soon became the norm for Ron. And uh, that's before his multi-decade career would uh, would last him, where he starred in over 2,200 films. Films. How many how many porn movies have you been in the past year? I have the world's record. I know that in a period of f three to four years, it's been about 800, 900. Now, that was good enough to actually land him a Guinness World Record for most appearances in adult films. Also, the honor of being named the number one adult film star of all time, and that is by AVN. In fact, in a lot of ways, well, Ron's dreams eventually came true when he became such a prevalent force in his own industry that he began crossing over into mainstream projects, including parts in Ghostbusters, The Boondog Saints, and Crank High Voltage. 
He also popped up on a ton of television series such as The Surreal Life, Chappelle Show, and Celebrity Big Brother, just to name a few. And don't forget the uh, autobiography he penned titled The Hardest Working Man in Showbiz. What I'm trying to say is that having transformed himself into one of the most well-known and prolific actors in his field since the 1970s, well, Ron, he had all of Hollywood at his fingertips. And as is too often the case in these types of situations, well, he wound up abusing that power to allegedly commit a series of, uh, well, horrendous crimes. In June of 2020, Ron Jeremy, he was arrested and charged with statutory violation offenses, including assault on four women. Now, over the next few weeks and months, other allegations, they would emerge as well, resulting in his indictment the following year, issued through a grand jury. Now, that indictment included more than 30 counts of assault with accusations dating back to 1996 and victims ranging in ages from 15 to 51. Now, following his arrest, well, Ron, he would plead not guilty to the crimes, and, uh, well, he's remained silent on the matter ever Ever since. Now, according to transcripts of grand jury testimony, well, Ron would lure women into a small secluded space, often the bathroom of a West Hollywood bar he liked to frequent, only to then trap them and refuse to let them leave unless they did exactly what he instructed them to do. But after more than two years of collecting evidence against him, well, it appears as if Ron's criminal case, it, uh, it won't officially happen. That's because court proceedings, they have been suspended since last year when Ron's lawyer said that his client, he was unable to even recognize him. During what was supposed to be a hearing in Ron's case, well, his representative, Stuart Goldfarb, he told those gathered in court, I was just up in the cell where he was being kept and I tried to get his attention unsuccessfully. He was unable to determine who I was and wouldn't accommodate both myself and the bailiff to fit into the wheelchair to come down here. Now, after further investigation into his health, well, last week, Ron was declared incompetent to stand trial and the judge presiding over the case, well, they described him as being in a incurable neurocognitive decline. Now, in an email that was obtained by the Times, well, LA Court District Attorney Paul Thompson, he said that mental health experts enlisted by both the prosecutors and the defense, well, they work together to determine Ron's condition and believe that there is no evidence that he is faking. Now, according to reports, Ron could still technically be declared fit for trial in the future if his condition were to, like, suddenly improve, but uh, that's unlikely to happen, especially with some of his relatives coming forward to admit that Ron well, he was showing signs of dementia before his arrest in 2020. Meanwhile, his accusers, like British adult film star Leanne Young, well, they're upset and feeling numb after hearing what's happened. In fact, she told the LA Times, it's going to come down to public opinion now, and public opinion has looked at Ron like a god. Now, as for Ron's defense team, well, they aren't pleased with this result either. Now, his defense attorney wrote in an email to the Daily Mail where he stated, when he was arrested two years ago, I said he would be found innocent of all charges. Charges. Two years have passed, and with the additional discovery I received, I believe he would have been found innocent. It is unfortunate due to mental condition he will not go to trial and have the opportunity to clear his name. Now, since the decision has come down, what prosecutors have asked that Ron be uh, periodically reevaluated, although whether or not that will happen remains to be seen. Now, for now, Ron is reportedly being held at Patton State Hospital in San Bernardino, California. Now, he was ordered to be transferred from jail to this mental health facility in March of 2000. 2022, and it now seems that if his medical decline, it is so extensive that at times, well, he believes he's back on set. In fact, a source told the U.S. Sun, Ron alters between a catonic state and thinking he is on a shoot. He thinks the nurses are naughty nurses there for the scenes, so he is always trying to grope. Now, that source is being honest, and that seems like, while well, even being lost on the seas of his own shattered mind, well, Ron Jeremy is still getting up to no good. Now, will this former superstar one day be held accountable for the crimes his he's uh, allegedly committed, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. After all, now you're caught up on the recent history via this Where Are They Now? Uh, thanks for checking out this video, guys. If you enjoyed this channel, be sure to subscribe. I got a question for you guys. If you were looking to make it in Hollywood today, would you consider joining the adult film industry in the hopes of crossing over? Let me know if you think Ron's plan was the right one in the comments down below as well. Also, let me know if you think Ron's innocent. I don't know if anyone does. Or like, God, the guy might have just thought it was like, that's how you date these days, right? If you enjoyed this video, we've dropped some others on stars like Macaulay Culkin and DaBaby. Check those out and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!